Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about topaz. So now let's get straight to it. Topaz is a silicate mineral that is made up of aluminium and fluoride. It is formed by fluorine bearing vapors that are given off during the final stages of the crystallization of igneous rocks, such as pegmatites, granites, and rhyolites. The largest reserve of topaz in the world is in Brazil. Some other notable locations include Russia, Zimbabwe, Germany, Sri Lanka, Nigeria and the United States of America. Most historians agree that the name Topaz came from a small island in the Red Sea called Topazos, where golden stones were found. However, the stones found were actually peridot, and not Topaz. Another believed that the name comes from Sanskrit word Tapas, an ancient Indian language which means fire, relating to the golden yellow color of the stones. Topaz rates 8 on the Mohs hardness scale. It is one of the hardest naturally occurring minerals and the hardest of any silicate mineral. It is an excellent stone for use in jewelry with little risk of damage. Did you know that topaz occurs in a wide range of colors? Most topaz specimens are yellow or brown. Natural trace elements, impurities, and crystal structures may make topaz red, pink, green, blue, purple and transparent. The rarest color is red, with less than 1% of the mine topaz exhibits this shade. They are known as imperial topaz, named after the Russian czars of the 18th and 19th centuries. The ownership was restricted to the royal family. Natural blue topaz is extremely rare and is usually pale blue. Most the blue topaz in the market today is light-colored topaz that has been treated with heat and radiation to produce a blue color. Topaz is pleochroic, meaning it can show different colors in different crystal directions. For example, a red topaz may show dark reds, yellows and pinkish reds at various aspects. Did you know that topaz was once a powerful stone in ancient civilizations? The ancient Greeks used topaz as a talisman to give them strength, while the ancient Romans believed that the gem could help protect against poison. The Egyptians believed that yellow topaz was the stone of Ra, the sun god. This made the stone a powerful amulet against harm. During the Middle Ages, it was once believed that topaz could protect against spells and magic. The American Golden Topaz is one of the largest cut yellow topaz crystals in the world. Discovered in the Minas Gerais, Brazil, it is a 172-faceted gem at 22,892 carats, 4.58 kilograms, resides at the Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Another is the El Dorado Topaz, which weighs 31,000 carats, 6.2 kilograms. It is believed to be the largest faceted gemstone in the world. It was cut into a flawless emerald shape and belongs to the British Royal Collection. A 1,680 carats colorless topaz that resides in the Portuguese crown was once believed to be diamond. It was named the Brazanga diamond and remains part of the crown today. Topaz is often used in jewelry due to its beauty and versatility. It is used as birthstone too. Topaz is the original birthstone for the month of November, while blue topaz is a birthstone for December. Topaz is an ideal gift for a wedding or anniversary, as they are associated with faithfulness, devotion and commitment. Blue topaz is the gem of the fourth anniversary, while imperial topaz is reserved for the 23rd anniversary. Other than the typical use in jewelry, topaz is also used in marble inlays or other decorative objects, such as the Russian chalice. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.